Hey, welcome to The Conversation. I'm Andy Mason, and this is Authentic Conversations around the messy intersection of faith, family, and business. And today, I want to talk to you about infinite ROI, really talking marketing. And if you are not marketing your product, continue to listen to this. If you are, but you've got a whole heap of stops and blocks in the way, then it's time to unplug that and go for it. So I'm going to tell you a little bit about what I'm experiencing right now and point you in the direction of some trusted resources to help you grow and expand what you're doing. Whether you're in business, ministry, uh, whether you're leading a team, whether you're wanting to get funding or expand, whatever it is, marketing is a way to do that. But it's understanding how to do that well. First, uh, this last weekend, I was having a conversation with a friend, Perry Marshall. Uh, he is a Google AdWords genius, been doing this for decades, so proven and well and highly respected in his field. And we were talking about a bunch of different things and what we're doing with Heaven and Business. Now, I've walked with Perry for a number of years now, and he's been a great encouragement. Just grab the book, God With You at Work, and you look on the back. There's a endorsement from Perry and the impact that he had and this book had on him. So Perry and I were talking about a bunch of things in regard to marketing, and he mentioned to me the infinite ROI conference that he did. Now, here's the thing. It's on YouTube and it's entirely free. They recorded it, posted it there. So I looked it up and started to listen. And I suddenly realized this is wonderful. It's awesome in terms of what it's delivering in value. And I thought, why are more people not watching this? So I did. And I've connected with Marilyn Adamson, which Perry talks about. So Marilyn was an atheist. She an atheist did not believe in God, but she had a friend that did. So over a period of about a year and a half, Marilyn would want to have debates with this friend and would ask her all of these crazy curly questions about God and faith and the future and the now and re like a reality based approach to finding faith. Well, what Marilyn's friend did not know is that every time Marilyn would have a conversational discussion slash argument with this friend. Marilyn would leaving, Marilyn would leave the conversation knowing that she'd won the argument, but deep down inside, she'd be like, my friend fully believes what she says, but I don't. After a year and a half of that, having asked every single question, Marilyn finally gets to the point where she's like, God, I need to make a decision about making a decision. Obviously, I've I've questioned every single angle that I could, and it's actually logical that you are real. If that's true, then I've got to fully give my life. It's the most logical response when you know that God is real, is to give him all your life. So she does that, makes that decision, gets employed by Campus Crusade, now called Crew, and she develops a website called everystudent.com and then everyperson.com. It's a website aimed at agnostics and atheists, and it's full of questions and answers about all of the deep questions that you have around faith. And then literally, it walks you through a process that if you want to meet God, this is how you do that. And then how to then dis be discipled or the adventure that follows. Well, here's the thing. They spend about a million dollars a year on marketing and they have 500,000 people sign in to get this ongoing adventure, spiritual journey, discipleship, having acknowledged a confession to follow Jesus. That's $2 for every one person that gives their life to Christ. What about your local church? How much do they spend based on every person that gets baptized per year or converted per year? Crazy stats. Here's the biggest thing. Why are we not doing more of that? It got me thinking. It got me realizing I've been so passive or organic more relational focused and what we're doing. But here's the thing. Number one question is, 
is what you are doing making a difference to people? If it's adding value, yes or no? Now, if it's not, do something about it so that what you do is adding value to people. Number two is, do people know about it? Are you doing everything within your ability to let people know what you are doing? If it's adding value to people, why are you staying silent or hiding what you have? Number three, if you're not, then let's go. Here's some resources to help you grow. So in the show notes below, I've highlighted a couple that I know that I trust who are marketing people that are not manipulators and not deceptive, but actually give you a huge amount of quality information, tools and training to take what you've got and actually put it in front of the world. Number one is rayedwards.com. Ray is a personal friend. I've walked with him for years. He's been with me traveling and he's got a book called uh, Copy. It's all about copywriting, which is how to write language and communicate what you've got in a way that helps meet the needs of people. He's got a pastor framework, P-A-S-T-O-R. That's an acronym for nurturing people in a sales communication process. I love what he's doing. I love how he's doing it. And there's so much of that that's either free or you can grab the book for a very small price and that will help launch you on your journey. Second one is perrymarshall.com. Perry is also a friend that I've already mentioned. He's helped us personally and he's got a bunch of different books. He's like the number one in the world for Google AdWords, Google Marketing. Check that out. There's a book that he's got. The link is down below. Jump onto his website and you get onto a series of different things. And then make sure you check it out. If you've got questions about your faith, check out everyperson.com or everystudent.com. It's exactly the same website. One is aimed at students. One is aimed at adults. And what's the difference? The photos, the age of the photos. It's just classic. What's the point? Let's go. Let's take the shackles off. And actually, if we've got something of value, let's let the world know about it. It's moving them into greater and greater value and life fully alive. Hey, if this is of value for you, make sure that you share it and join us, heaveninbusiness.com. And we've got a free offer for you, free book for you or anyone that you know that would have value to this is heaveninbusiness.com backslash free. It's the God with you at work book and you get that delivered to you over the next couple of days. Hey, thanks for listening and we'll see you again next week.